Hey Cleveland.com, meteorologist Kelly Reardon here. On the radar this week, we're discussing eye safety during the upcoming solar eclipse, specifically why sunglasses aren't enough to protect you from the dangers of observing the sun. The first total solar eclipse to be seen from coast to coast across the country in 99 years is coming August 21st. Hotels across the path of totality are booked up, road trips organized, and picnics planned. For us in Northeast Ohio, we'll still see the eclipse, but it won't be a total eclipse. Instead, we'll see a partial eclipse, beginning at 1.06 p.m., ending around 3.51 p.m., at least in Cleveland. This means those heading to eclipse parties will have to use protection to observe the sun that long, and your regular sunglasses, whether you wear one pair or attempt to throw on five pairs, aren't enough for complete safety. Here's why. It's to avoid eclipse blindness. Environmental exposure to ultraviolet radiation is known to contribute to the accelerated aging of the outer layers of the eye and the development of cataracts, which is why we wear our sunglasses out and about on a regular day. But during an eclipse, the concern is eclipse blindness or retinal burns. Retinal exposure to intense visible light causes damage to cells, and this means you're at risk for loss of vision, which could be temporary or permanent, depending on the severity of the damage. To fully protect yourself, grab a pair of eclipse glasses, which according to NASA, have very specific criteria. They must have a designated ISO code and have the manufacturer's name and address printed somewhere on the product. They shouldn't be used if they're older than three years or have scratched or wrinkled lenses. The American Astronomical Association named five verified manufacturers for safe eclipse glasses. American Paper Optics, Bader Planetarium using Astro Solar Silver or Gold Film only, Rainbow Symphony, Thousand Oaks Optical, and TSC 17. Some glasses you buy online may not follow this criteria and could not be safe. Check back in next Tuesday for another episode of On the Radar.